today we're reading Rodeo Red, written by Mary Pat Perkins, illustrated by Molly Idol. Rodeo Red. I go by the name Rodeo Red. My best friend in all the world is my hound dog, Rusty. Rusty and me had always been happier than two buttons on a new shirt. Tell side swiping Slim showed up. First time our eyes met, I knew Slim was trouble. He looked as slippery as a snake's belly in a mudslide. I thought for sure anybody who hollered that much would be hauled to the edge of town and told to ski daddle. But the sheriff and her deputy seemed smitten. Slim laid low for a while, but gradually he started moving into my territory. I'd come home to find my belongings all in a tumble, my spurs missing, a great jelly smeared on my favorite hat. I tried reasoning with Slim. I showed him the border between my camp, his. But that scallywag talked nothing but gibberish. He just moseyed back into my ranch like he owned the place. Finally, I threw in the sponge. I didn't want nothing more to do with that cantankerous limb and custard. One day, Rusty weren't nowhere to be found. I looked everywhere for him. I knew right then that Slim was up to his side, swiping ways. It was time for us to go toe to toe, eyeball to eyeball. Late that night, I snuck into Slim's camp. There he was, sawing logs, poor Rusty in his clutches. I eased up and tried to slip Rusty out real gentle like. Slim was squeezing that dog tighter than a green horn riding a buckaroo. I tugged and I pulled, but it weren't no use. Deb, burn it, Slim, I hollered. Give me back my dog. Well, that woke him up and he set to squalling like a fire truck heading to a wiener roast gone bad. The two Shakes deputy was there telling me to get when you know Slim would have the law on his side. Went back to my ranch, feeling lower in a prairie dog's basement. Just had to get Rusty back. Next day, I snuck back into Slim's camp. I swung my rope, caught Rusty round the middle. But Slim lit into a fit loud enough to cause a stampede. Sheriff showed up and well, what followed weren't pretty. She dropped me into the holding cell quicker than you could say lickety split. I was madder than a bee in a Sunday bonnet. When the sheriff finally let me out, I decided to drown my sorrows and grab some grub. Halfway through my second cookie, I heard a commotion. The stagecoach had arrived with the mail. Lord me, there was a package for me. It was a belated birthday gift from Aunt Sal. Now, Aunt Sal is a good old gal, but truth be told, she's a city slicker. I was hoping for a sturdy set of boots or a good piece of rope. Instead, I got some sort of varnished varmint. It looked lazy and addle brain to me. I doubted it could even keep the mice out of the barn. Then an idea lit up my noggin. <laughs> I sauntered into Slim's camp, bold as a new nickel. I had that sissified simpleton in my arms, cuddling it like it was the best thing I could ever think to do. Slim's eyes shone like two full moons. He stretched out his hands and said, Gimme, gimme, gimme! I took my time, petting it real slow-like. 
You want this critter? I looked him square in the eye. You gotta give me back my dog. Slim hesitated. His eyes darted back and forth between Rusty and that fussy feline. I could tell he was weighing things out. But the sight of that dolled up dandy was far too much for him. He handed over Rusty like he was a hot coal at a barbecue. After that, Slim didn't pay Rusty no never mind. He hugged that frilly varmint like he'd found his best friend for life. Well, there's no accounting for taste. But what? I had Rusty back where he belonged, safe in my arms. It was time to put my boots up for a spell before the next adventure. I tucked Rusty close and we headed back to the ranch, happier than two freckles on a sunny cheek. Rodeo Red. If y'all listen to this story today, you can count it on your thousand books before kindergarten. And if you need more information about a thousand books, please contact us here at the library. Thanks. Have a fantastic day.